Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video I'm going to explain to you a new treatment for prostate cancer that is based on the immune response. In other words, it helps stimulate a man's ability to fight his own cancer. The treatment is called Provenge and it was recently approved by the FDA because it showed an improvement in survival. The study included men who had progressive metastatic disease and had already been taking hormone therapy. The study results showed that at 21.7 months, half of the men were still alive in the control group as compared to 25.8 months in the men getting the Provenge. So there was an improvement in survival of 4.1 months. So that means at that point in time half the men were still alive. We can't say exactly how long men are expected to live as a basis or on based on this treatment. Now the treatment is done in the following way. First, blood is taken out of a man's body and separated into different blood cells by a special machine it's called a leukophoresis. The white blood cells are removed and then the rest of the blood is returned immediately back into a man's body. These white blood cells are then sent to a special laboratory where they're grown in a lab with a protein that is normally on the presence of prostate cancer cells. And also they're grown with something that helps stimulate the production of these cells so that more cells will become available. And these cells, these white blood cells, are activated against the prostate cancer cells. Three days later, the sample is then returned to the patient by infusing it into the arm through a vein. So that takes about one hour. And this infusion then helps to stimulate the man's response. So he's basically getting a vaccine of sorts to help him fight off his cancer cells. Now, one of the things that is unusual about this treatment is it has no effect on the PSA result and it has no effect on whether the cancer may progress to other parts of the body. What it does do is it improves survival. And that can make it a little difficult to determine if a man is getting a good response or not. People are wait, working on ways to try and figure out which men are not responding. And that way they can be given some other treatment that might prove helpful. The side effects most commonly seen were fever and chills. There is a possibility of getting an allergic reaction. But overall, the treatment is done fairly safely. Each man will get a total of three infusions that are set apart by about two weeks. So every two weeks, a man goes in, has his blood taken out, the white blood cells removed, they're sent to a laboratory, the cells are then returned to the patient, and that's repeated at two weeks and four weeks later and then a man is followed to see how he does. This is an important advance and it's the first of its kind of an immunotherapy where the immune response is being stimulated. Hopefully it will lead to other developments and hopefully studies will be forthcoming to test it in men who have less advanced disease. The candidates right now are very restricted. A man has to have a low testosterone as a result of being on hormone therapy. He also has to have evidence of metastatic prostate cancer and evidence that the cancer is getting worse. All three requirements must be satisfied for a man to get this treatment. For the moment, there may be some limit on how many men can receive this treatment because there's not enough processing plants available. But those are being built and hopefully will be available sometime in 2011. The bottom line here is this is an exciting new development for men who have this disease, who are having progression, and hopefully you will find this information useful. Thank you.